Hi there, welcome to my views and news. Two new stories. Firstly, Somalia responded to allegations, claims from Ethiopia. Two days ago, Ethiopia, Ethiopian foreign minister talked about delivery of weapons from Egypt to Somalia. Uh, before that, Somalia accused Ethiopia of providing illegal weapons to Portland. Uh, now it's Somalia's turn to respond to Ethiopian allegations. Ahmed Mualim Fiki, the most vocal critic of Ethiopia, is Somalia's foreign minister, talked to a news agency a few hours ago. Secondly, Sadkan, you turn general Sadkan Gabriel Sai under fire, being criticized by the Bratsian Gabriel Mikhail and others, spoke in Idaga Hamastown yesterday, delivered a speech there on a mascal uh, celebration. And there he sent a message to the people of Tegarai, message about those who are trying to divide the people of Tigray along regional lines. What did he say? Firstly, we are Somalia-Ethiopia dispute. No end to it inside so far. Both parties issuing strong statements accusing each other. No signs of any de-escalation so far. All efforts of mediation led to no progress. Two days ago, Taetske Silasi, Ethiopian foreign minister in a meeting with UN officials said that the delivery of Egyptian weapons to Somalia was a threat and the weapons could end up in the hands of Al-Shabaab fighters. By the way, uh, he, he uh, passed his remarks uh, at a meeting in New York. He was attending a general assembly session there. And there he met with UN officials. Uh, and we know that Taska Silasi had been holding discussions with Ugandan, Burundian, and other uh, Kenyan officials too, because he wants atmos countries. Afghan peacekeeping mission contributing countries to take a joint position about uh, deployment of Egyptian military, about the new peacekeeping mission which will start in January next year. So will Ethiopia manage to get uh, support from other atmos countries that we'll see in coming days. But he has held some discussion there with Uganda, Burundi, Kenya and other countries whose troops are part of the ongoing peacekeeping mission in Somalia. That's because Selassie said that Al-Shabaab could take hold of these weapons which Egypt is delivering to Somalia. Response came as expected. Ahmed Mualim Fiki, the foreign minister of Somalia, talked to the Reuters a few hours ago. He responded to Ethiopian allegation. He said that Ethiopia basically wants to divert attention from its illegal weapon deliveries to some elements in Somalia. He said that uh, two days ago, Somalia's foreign ministry issued a statement. It said that Ethiopia was providing weapons to Portland. The two lorries full of weapons were seen heading into what land from Ethiopia. The ministry further said that Ethiopia is providing weapons to Southwest State uh, and uh, another state too in Somalia that in Bedoa uh, arms shipments from Ethiopia arrived by air. Ahmed Mualemfik said that so far Ethiopia has not countered these allegations. Ethiopia has said nothing in response to these allegations. So basically, Ethiopia wants to divert the attention of international community from what it is doing in terms of destabilizing Somalia, in terms of providing weapons to the regional governments and groups in Somalia. That is why it is uh, 
just saying that the Egyptian weapons could end up in the hands of Al Shama. So, the war of words ongoing between Ethiopia. So, by the way, yes, why is Ethiopia silent so far? Portland uh, rejected federal government statement saying that uh, uh, it had not received any weapons from Ethiopia, but Ethiopia mysteriously silent so far. Though some pro-Ethiopian government news sources claim that those weapon, those lorries were not carrying weapons, they were carrying illegally captured charcoal. Uh, which was captured by security forces and, and they took the two lorries to a safe location. People filmed the uh, movement of lorries and they shared the video in social media claiming that the lorries contained weapons. They had no weapons. These claims came from Ethiopia backed news sources. No official statement from Ethiopia so far. Yes, Ethiopia should officially respond to Somalia's allegations. Somalia accused Ethiopia of providing weapons to three regional states in Somalia. No official response from Ethiopia so far. Secondly, we have Janel Sadkan Gebretensai, Gitacho's top supporter, uh, spoke in Idaga Hamastown on Wednesday. Sadkan Khan is one of the key players in Ethiopian politics now. Though he is not part of uh, TPLF or any political party, but he is very influential. He is rich as well. The man is backing Gitacho. The, the main man behind Gitacho is uh, Sad Khan. Uh, well respected in Tigray, but TPLF Debratsian is trying to tarnish the image of Sad Khan. We, we saw what Debratsian said in recent days, some videos on that too. Debratsian accused Sad Khan of uh, dividing TPLF, dividing Tigray. He said during the war to Sad Khan, uh, tried to, he demanded a change in the leadership of Tigray and he suggested that Debratsian and others should go to Sudan or South Sudan, uh, but they disagreed with this proposal by Sad Khan. Sad Khan delivered a speech in Idaga Hamas yesterday uh, at a program organized to celebrate Maskell. Ethiopians are going to start Maskell Demra celebrations tonight. Uh, Maskell tomorrow, Demra Maskell celebrations on the eve of Maskell tonight. Uh, Sad Khan there sent a message to the people of Tigray through his speech. When he spoke there, he said, people of Tigray should destroy those elements which are trying to divide the people of Tigray in regions, villages and cities. What did he mean? Basically, he said that regional politics should not be tolerated. People of Tigray should disapprove regional politics. There are two main uh, types of uh, political narratives launched by TPLF. Regional narrative and uh, to some extent other narrative is uh, uh, Basically, regional narrative is the main narrative, we can say. People from Edward, Som, Shire have traditionally been dominant players in DPLF. And the people from Enderta, Raya have been less relevant, less powerful. These uh, Som, Adva, Shire people unite. Shire, TPLA, they unite and they maintain their dominance. Now, one of the aspects of the ongoing confrontation between Gitachu and Debratsian is that this conflict is regional as well, zonal as well. TPLF Debratsian wing leaders mainly based in northwestern northern Tigray. Gitacho led group mainly based in Adva, not in Adva, in Enderta Raya. 
So while Sad Khan is against this regionalization of uh, politics, his group is also promoting this uh, regionalism. The people who are supporting Gitacho in Raya in Endert, obviously Gitacho people are also using the same narratives there against TPL of the Bratsi and they say that this Adva Shire Aksom uh, elite dominated Tegarai's politics and they are not ready to accommodate people and leaders from Raya and Endert. Both parties are using regional cards, ethnic cards to further their political narratives. Thank you for watching.